hello it's been so long since i've vlogged there's been so much going on i just honestly haven't had the time but today i thought it'd be a good idea to film a day in the life of a full-time author full-time writer style vlog because i just so happen to have a particularly busy day and a lot of people don't even really know what writers or authors do once they've published a book or while they're writing a new book. So there's a lot going on. I find vlogging as an author kind of tricky because most of my days are spent behind the computer and it's pretty boring to watch me just write and type. But yeah, so basically I'm just gonna take you through my day today. I've already had a pretty full morning. I was up at 6.30, got my coffee, I wrote in my journal, I did a Melissa Wood Health Pilates workout, I went for a walk, um, yeah, just kind of getting myself ready for the day. And in about 15 minutes, a producer from URTV Halton is coming to my house, which is crazy. October is Women's History Month, so they're celebrating Elizabeth Arden, who my book is about, the Canadian entrepreneur who pioneered the modern beauty industry. So I'm excited to see how that goes. I haven't been on TV in a very long time especially not in our new house, which isn't completely finished. So hopefully we can find a little corner down in the living room to film this. And then I am heading to Toronto. I'm going on a meeting with the CEO of Audible for Behind the Red Doors audiobook. That's at Soho House. I'm really excited. That'll be fun. And then tonight I'm joining virtually a book club discussion. So I'll do my best to take you along throughout the day on those kind of big things. I wish I'd picked up my camera earlier this morning to show you, but I just wanted to get through my morning routine, get ready for my first interview. It's been a while, so I'm a little bit nervous. Hopefully it goes well. And yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm back. I just had my TV news interview. It was really cool. I was nervous, but I think it went well. I rambled a little too much, but they said they're gonna edit it and chop it up. So hopefully they just pick the very best sentences from everything that I rambled on about. So now I'm just gonna go make a quick lunch, maybe get another coffee. And I think Jeff's gonna have lunch with me too. So his office is downstairs in the basement. So I'll meet him in the kitchen and then I've got a hightail it downtown Toronto and get to Soho House for my meeting with Audible. The lighting's pretty dark in here. We haven't really figured this room out yet, but I just quickly wanted to show you my all red suit for my meeting with Audible. Colors might be a little crazy, but obviously gotta match the book, which is over there on the bed. Wish me luck. So long story short, of course, the day of all days, I had to get downtown. There was a huge crash on the GO train into the city. So I'm trying to find an alternate way to get downtown. I think Jeff is gonna drive me and he's gonna go golf at his golf course. So it makes sense for both of us and he can just drop me off en route. So luckily he is willing to do that and is able to do that. Otherwise this would have been disastrous because the GO trains are not running. Okay, that is all. That is my update. Hopefully I make this meeting on time. Goodbye. <laughs> Quick update, made it to Toronto, got a coffee to refuel because I'm so tired. That was a bit of a trek, but I made it. I will be on time for the meeting. I'm gonna walk there now. Next catastrophe is that it has just started raining a little bit, so hopefully I make it there before I completely get rained out. I didn't bring an umbrella because I wasn't expecting it to rain, but yeah, here we go.
Hello, I'm finally back home. It's been a very long day. It is currently 8 p.m. I was up at 6, just before 6 a.m. Did my little morning routine. I had my TV interview at my house, which was really fun. It was such a gorgeous day. They set up in my backyard and then shot some B-roll in my office, which is unfinished. I was like, no, I wish I had put more energy and time, but I honestly haven't had time. We barely just unpacked boxes in this new house, so nothing I could do, but if the new segment is out and I have clips, I'll try to include that if I remember in the editing process. Author released a book earlier this year that ties both history and the present together with two strong women. Nikki Wesley explains. Louise Claire Johnson's <laughs> book, Behind the Red Door. She moved to New York in 1908. I moved to New York in 2008. So it's kind of our dual narratives in the beauty industry a hundred years apart. And it's me following in her footsteps, so to speak. And the only reason that I'm truly in this book is to highlight how much has changed and how much has not changed for women in the workplace, in the beauty industry, a century later. She was captivated by Arden's story when she moved to Manhattan for a marketing internship at the age of 18. I was just excited to move to New York and work in marketing. I didn't know anything about the beauty industry and I didn't know anything about the woman behind the company. But the more I uncovered about her, she's- So again, that was really fun. That was this morning. And then I did some admin work. I had lunch. I forgot we had no groceries. Both Jeff and I just got back from trips and all we had in our <laughs> pantry was ramen from Costco. So we each had a bowl of ramen our sodium levels are through the roof so I had that then I had to rush to the go train to get downtown toronto for my meeting at soho house and unfortunately there was a huge accident i believe someone died which is very very sad they jumped in front of the train not to get all morbid on this video but it became a crime scene so they canceled all of the eastbound trains into the city we've just moved slightly outside of the city and even though it sounds crazy, it actually takes the same amount of time as it used to take me to get across town. So it's really not that far. Anyway, Jeff kindly drove me so I could check live what was happening and when the next train was. And we got there and they were all canceled. So I had a bit of a panic. I was calm, but mentally panicking of, okay, what am I gonna do? I also don't have a car, which is something I need to probably get. But again, I've lived in big cities, so I haven't really needed them. And again, Jeff kindly offered to drive me into the city and then he went golfing, so that was great. Had my meeting. I don't think you're supposed to film in Soho House, but I took a couple clips, which I will insert here. It was an incredible meeting. I can't say anything more, but it was really, really fun. And then I walked to Union Station, took the GO train home, and then walked 30 minutes home. Again, you also probably saw my really sad dinner, which was a falafel wrap. I'm deeply embarrassed of the food that I've eaten today and that I have filmed and put on camera because it's not reflective of my normal diet. Mom, if you're watching this, my sodium levels are usually not that high. I try not to eat processed foods like that, but it's just one of those days where we had no time, we had no food, and just had to get something on the go that is not indicative of a day in my life of eating. Anyway, I am home now. I am gonna go make myself a cup of peppermint tea. I'm joining a virtual book club uh, via Zoom in about 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna have my tea, prepare my agenda for tomorrow in the next 20, 30 minutes, and then log on and chat about Behind the Red Door some more with some amazing readers in a book club and then i'm going to shower put on my pajamas do a face mask and jeff and i are gonna watch made on netflix i'm so excited margaret quayley is one of my favorite actresses of all time her mom is in it andy mcdowell and they filmed it in victoria bc my mom my sisters they've watched it they said it's incredible and I've been dying to watch it. I've just been waiting until Jeff and I both got back from our trip so that we could watch it together. So I'm super excited to decompress, 
So I hope you enjoyed this day in the life video. I have no idea what clips I actually got on this camera and the few that I got on my iPhone. It's my first time back vlogging in a while. Hopefully I'm not too awkward on this camera. Again, it feels weird kind of picking it up and talking to you, but also not weird because I pretend I'm just talking to my friends. Anyway, I'm getting a little delirious, so I should probably turn this camera off. This is my very sad zoom setup. My camera is dying, so I just wanted to show you that quickly but I'm ready for book club. This is the biggest day. Holy smokes. Do you wanna watch The Maid? Yeah, but come tell me. I mean, how are you meeting with? Okay, coming.